During the Jeff Sessions, uh, we were joking earlier uh, that if it was a high school senior and a 10th grader, we'd call this bullying. I don't know what you call it when it's the president and his own attorney general. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's odd, right? I mean, we've sort of been asking around, and, and uh, we can't think of another um, moment when a president and any cabinet official have you know, been engaged like this, where the president handpicked uh, attorney general, someone who was one of his earliest supporters, um, ended up in the doghouse for a decision that was recommended by career people at the Justice Department in order to avoid a conflict of interest. Uh, and and it, it, it has the president smarting still six months after the, that decision was made. However, um, it, it does seem like now the, the worst may have passed after the White House press secretary, Sarah Sanders, said that well, you can be disappointed in someone and still want them to continue in their job. Yeah. Well, it's also interesting to note that Jeff Sessions is really the only Trump cabinet member and person around him that is doing what he said he would do, whether it's with sanctuary cities, whether it's with uh, drug dealers, whether it's with crime and uh, also, um, uh, also immigration. It seems like Jeff Sessions is the only one carrying out Donald Trump's campaign promises. I, I think that's a great point, McGraw, because the, the Justice Department and I guess to, to a related extent, the, the Department of Homeland Security, are really the only two departments that, that have done anything proactive uh, in, in terms of pushing the president's agenda. Now, behind the scenes, we know the Education Department's doing some things. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure other departments are as well. Right. Certainly the, um, you know, his, uh, uh, the, 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 the environment um, uh, secretary is, uh, you know, sort of un working to undo some Obama-era regulations. But it has been Jeff Sessions who has been the, the I think, most prominent uh, cabinet official to enact some of the hardline stances that, that President uh, Trump pushed on the campaign trail. And for, he was also one of his earliest and, and maybe uh, one of the very few senators to get on board early with the campaign. And that made the public upbraiding that we've seen over the last couple of weeks that much more surprising. There's a story in the Washington Post uh, this morning that talks about how Donald Trump is, is talking uh, about this idea of a recess appointment to replace Jeff Sessions. Seems like Republicans and senators have come to Jeff Sessions' defense on this. Oh, Republicans have really circled the wagons. At first it was just the conservatives who see Jeff Sessions as their champion. And, and, and truthfully, career Justice Department people who, you know, whether they like Sessions or not is almost irrelevant, but, but, but was the bulkhead against you know, influence from the administration to try and keep the department apolitical. Um, but now you've got Mitch McConnell, the, the majority leader whose wife serves in the cabinet, John Cornyn, Bob Corker, you know, a host of Republicans uh, that are saying this will not stand. Chuck Grassley, the uh, Judiciary Committee chairman, uh, sent a message that his calendar is full, meaning that if the president wanted to nominate a successor to Jeff Sessions, Grassley says he wouldn't get a hearing. <laughs> you know, it's also kind of funny, bringing back to the high school bully, it is kind of funny that Donald Trump try, is trying to pick a fight with Jeff Sessions, and Jeff Sessions isn't responding, right? I mean, that's sort of an interesting little but play there's there. no, This is not a two-way you know, people keep saying it's a spat or it's a, you know, a war or whatever, but it's, it, there's only one player here. Right. Um, and yeah. look, Sessions, if nothing else, has been in Washington a long time. Uh, I, 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 you know, he, he certainly, uh, you know, has some controversial positions, but he, I, I think, knows how to play the game and, and where he can find bases of support. Uh, and, and where he can, you know, rally those supporters when necessary. And, and you know, President Trump may be getting outplayed here. For, for, for all of the promise to drain the swamp and to take on Washington, there's certain parts of Washington that aren't going to let him take them on. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 the place works the way it works. And, and uh, I think President Trump is uh, finding that out. But as he, um, you know, switches to his own instincts, as opposed to listening to, to some Washington hands that, that may be uh, at the ready, uh, he's finding those two things uh, quite at odds. I also find it interesting that Democrats are now supporting Jeff Sessions, which... Well, it, right. <laughs> I mean, look, because... The, and they're no fans of, of, of some of Sessions' positions, certainly. But I, I think, again, when, when you 
they don't see it as tenable to have the attorney general of the United States and the president at odds so publicly. And, and also they don't they, you know, they, they don't want political influence yeah. in the Justice Department. Last question for you, Aaron. Yesterday, out of nowhere, he starts tweeting about transgender. How much of that was him being Donald Trump, and how much of that was him trying to deflect attention or get the story off of Jeff Sessions? Well, th- so th- th- that could cut a couple of ways, right? One, uh, the thinking is that a policy that clearly had not been um, fully cooked because you heard the the press secretary, Sarah Sanders, say, you know, the White House and the Defense Department have to work this out. You know, why would you announce something on Twitter that hadn't been worked out yet right. um, that could impact thousands of people, be that as it may? Uh, either it was a distraction or uh, the other theory is that it was a, a, a bone to conservatives. Knowing that he's on the brink of firing Sessions, he does something else to earn the praise of, of some, some hardline conservatives. Uh, to maybe soften the blow. Aaron Katursky, good work. Thanks for checking in there. See you, McGraw. 627, Big 550.